Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Well, the Solana price dipped just below support quite substantially actually, but it recovered very quickly. So I would not call that a sustained break. So there is no invalidation technically, because as I said, the wave four in a diagonal can technically be deep. Uh, it's not ideal to go below the 61.8 retracement and that definitely caused me to add the red count to the chart already in the previous video. Uh, we talked about that in the live stream earlier today as well. So the move down is either way four complete in the yellow count, um, well ideally complete because any break below that low will clearly trigger the red count, okay? So the yellow count would need to be complete in my opinion. And then as soon as we get a break above the last swing high, we have early evidence that a low of sorts is in place. We have here a nice reversal candle actually and a break above the $154.50 level would be an indication that a wave four has bottomed and we can rally in wave five, um, possibly still to that 225 target, yeah? But if the rally now is clearly corrective, it might be just the B wave. The problem that we have now is that because we are in a diagonal pattern, we will not be able to differentiate between the red count probably and the yellow count. Uh, even the B wave could overshoot in red. And the yellow count is an ABC structure and the red count would also be an ABC. So I think they are basically mirror counts to a degree. Even though the red count could technically be weaker, it doesn't need to overshoot obviously. So it's going to be tough to dis differentiate between the two. Um, but that's actually good because it means that, you know, they both are basically mirror counts to a degree and they move together and we don't need to differentiate between them at the moment. It's just that I think if we get a break below today's low, which was at around 118, what is that? 118, $119 then it's more likely the red count. And the A wave then in red of the larger degree fourth wave could hit the $108 mark next. This is actually an ideal target for an A wave. And we could get a B wave rally and then a C wave down. And as I said, in the yellow count, we are still in this larger degree fifth wave of an even larger degree third wave. But in the red count, we've already seen a top I don't want to fully commit to the red count. It's a difficult environment at the moment. It's very dynamic. Uh, I don't think there are any certainties here at the moment. It's very, very fluid, the situation. So if you can't, let's say, handle that psychologically, mentally, and that's no disrespect, that's just what it is. It's a tough market at the moment. Then maybe wait until the market has stabilized a little bit. Also, obviously, um, there have been some catalysts which probably triggered that and did lead the waves into the extremes, like not normal conditions, right? Sometimes during these conditions, um, political stuff, you know, geopolitical stuff, it, it brings or it takes those uh, waves, it derives the waves into the extremes. For example, here we had an, a, a support area all the way down to $131. It did hold, but obviously it briefly broke, but it didn't cause invalidation. So that's sometimes what happens, you know, it's, it's a volatile crypto space. So therefore I say, you know, to, to, um, yeah, to get into, uh, you know, maybe you want to wait until the space has calmed down a little bit. At the moment it's very dynamic, kind of exciting, a bit scary. Um, but yeah, it's very, uh, dynamic. So it's not for everybody, obviously it's bear in mind it's crypto. It's already a very, very volatile and risky space, but I think the levels are clear. So the upper support area did hold brief break, but no sustained break. Any break below today's low will likely um, put uh, or push probabilities further into the to the red scenario direction. And then the key support range is between $51.83 and $108.35. Ideal target technically for that fourth wave would be $72. We know that a fourth wave typically would retrace to the 38.2 retracement, at least in if we talk about the most common retracement levels. Yeah, that's my update about Solana. Just a quick update. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.